I think a unique part of the Central Valley Early Learning Center is we serve a diverse group of individuals. We have a population that comes from 110% of the poverty level. We have kids that come with special needs. We have kids that come through a paid preschool program. Homelessness, CPS involvement, poverty levels, any number of risk factors. The students that walk in this door for our Early Learning Center have the potential of being served by quality educators for 16 years. I love being in a building that's like a hub where we have so many resources. Any need you can imagine, we have somebody who knows how to help. So when all of those basic needs are met, then the kids can feel safe and secure and really start to take off and learn. Our brains are like sponges the first five years of our lives. When we invest those funds in early learning, these kids really carry that through into their later experiences. We get these kids fresh. They've never had a school experience before, and we're really intentional about teaching those social and emotional skills and building a sense of community. It really is the bedrock for them to be confident in their skills, to go on and learn great things. When you say that you're going to build a school for somebody and it's going to be in an old grocery store, the first thing they say is, you're nuts. Even though it sounds bizarre, 60,000 square feet is still 60,000 square feet. Our role was to understand what they could be if the spaces were designed specifically for them. And how do you take these two programs and find the common ground between an alternative high school and an early learning center and then make the most of every inch. And as the process got started and we started to meet with the architects, it really started to take shape and you could see this is going to be one of those places out of your wildest dreams you would have never been able to believe that all of that could fit, work in here, and turn out as great as it did. I think what other districts or other communities will see is that we were able to take 25 classrooms and house preschoolers in it and give them the best environment to learn in and you wouldn't know that we lived in an old grocery store. And it just makes it a happy, I think, welcoming place for kids and for families.